This is a film about a visit to San Miguel de Allende, which has been declared a World Heritage Site. Despite not having a casino or an airport and being over 600 kilometers from the nearest beach, this small city of 140,000 people has been ranked by some travel magazines as a preferred place to live and visit. The main attraction of San Miguel is its well-preserved historical center that is filled with buildings mainly from the 17th and 18th centuries. The city also has a vibrant arts and cultural scene. From the small airport in Queretaro, it is an hour's drive to San Miguel through interesting country. Queretaro is obviously a booming city in part due to its automobile industry. On the way, we ran into a heavy rainstorm that caused impressive flooding on the road and waterfalls on the highway cuttings. <laughs> Arriving at San Miguel de Allende, we were greeted by an equestrian statue of General Ignacio Allende, a Mexican Revolutionary War hero who lent part of his name to the city. Once in the old part of San Miguel, one encounters many interesting and colorful sights. The mojiganga, or giant puppets, are frequently seen walking about the streets. We initially stayed in a small house that had a beautiful garden that is totally walled off from the street view. The house had an interesting collection of artwork. The garden had some fruit trees and many flowers that attracted butterflies and the occasional hummingbird. San Miguel is a popular wedding destination for both foreigners and nationals who love the food, music and setting. For our balloon flight over San Miguel, we left at 6.30 when the air is more calm. The balloon was soon inflated and we were able to climb aboard into the basket and then lift off. We lifted off from the site of the Tuesday market and then drifted southwest over San Miguel for 45 minutes until we landed outside of Pantoja.
how when we're rising up now, you can see the city and we're high enough. You can see the lag, the lag over there. Pottery down there, pottery work. After 45 minutes, we started to look for a place to land. Barely skimmed over the top of trees looking for a place to land. The ground crew arrived to help us land, but the thorns prevented any landing in the immediate area. Okay, we're going to hit this little tree. Just make sure your arms are okay. Sorry. Oh. Watch out for his throw. The ground crew had to pull us by our landing lines to a landing site near the Adobe Brick Makers. <laughs> landing near the Adobe Brick Makers, we got an excellent view of how Adobe bricks are made. Adobe means mud brick in Spanish. It is a building material made from earth and other organic materials. Adobe is among the earliest building materials and it is used widely throughout the world. The Adobe brick ingredients of sand, silk and clay are mixed together along with straw which serves as the binding agent and allows the bricks to dry evenly thereby preventing cracking due to uneven shrinkage rates throughout the brick. Whilst the women packed the adobe mixture into the rectangular mold frames, the men made the adobe mixture and spread out the sand to prevent the wet bricks from sticking to the ground. The incredibly long car train passing by served to illustrate the importance of the automobile industry to Mexico and the local area.
With the balloon down and finally exiting out of the basket, we had the traditional alcoholic drink to celebrate a successful balloon flight. After the balloon flight, we returned to the center of San Miguel, to Jardín Allende, to see the rest of the Independence Day activities. The Jardín Allende is the heart of old San Miguel. It is a square surrounded by arcades, the beautiful parochia church, and the old city hall. The square is full of tourists who bring out the street vendors and the mariachi bands. We were lucky to see the indigenous Chichimeca dancers dressed in their extravagant feathered headdress, which prominently display pheasant feathers. <laughs> Their dance incorporates both pre-Hispanic and Catholic elements. In front of the parochia church, a pole for the flying voladores was set up. The beautiful parochia church is a popular backdrop for newlyweds photographs. The Chinalo dancers are traditionally dressed to disguise the wearer, a la Carnival. We witnessed an impressive wedding service in the Iglesia de San Francisco. The couple spared no expense for their wedding, including having three photographers, a drone, and a mariachi band.
Following the wedding procession, there was an Independencia parade of horsemen to the Jardin Allende. A major event in the Independencia celebrations is the recreation of the start of the Mexican War of Independence in 1810. Riders kitted out in revolutionary uniforms charged down the streets with swords drawn. The procession of San Miguel or St. Michael passed by our hotel, carrying a statue of San Miguel at its head, and climbed up the street to the hilltop where a priest blessed it.
The procession was followed by a number of mohiganga, or giant puppets, which greatly added to the event. The sunset that day was very beautiful, with the impressive parochial church prominently in the foreground. Nighttime at the Jardina Allende was spectacular due to the decorations, lighting, fireworks, and entertainment. The lighting on the beautiful parochia church made it even more spectacular at night. The highlight of Independence Day in the Jardin Allende was the spinning fireworks display in front of the parochia. The very heavily armed soldiers out front of the trattoria where we ate served to illustrate the lawlessness facing parts of Mexico. 
we made the long steep walk up from Central San Miguel to El Tiangis, or the Tuesday Market, and along the way we passed by interesting sights. The heavily armed shopping mall guard and the guard tower overlooking the shopping mall's parking lot again serve to illustrate the law and order issues in Mexico. El Tiangas was a feast of color for the eye and food for the stomach. There were several vendors selling herbal remedies for every type of medical problem. Just walking around San Miguel afforded one an endless series of interesting and colorful scenes to view. The high-end or luxury housing available in San Miguel has beautiful furnishings. The Mercado de Artesanias, our market, is another colorful market worth visiting. It's located in central San Miguel. We took an excellent cooking class with Chef David, and not only did we learn how to cook some Mexican dishes, we also ate very well once the dishes were complete.
We drove outside of town to Anton Tanilko, which is a small town of only 600 people, yet its religious sanctuary dating from the 18th century has World Heritage Site status. The sanctuary is the church from which Father Hidalgo took the Virgin of Guadalupe standard for his army at the start of the Mexican Revolution in 1810. The sanctuary's walls and ceilings are covered in biblical murals from the Bible, such that it has been called the Sistine Chapel of America. A biker club visiting Anto Tanilco made for some interesting scenes. Nearby Anton Tanilco is the Galleria Anton Tanilco, selling high-end art. Our interesting visit to San Miguel over, we made the long journey back home. Take me somewhere nice To some tired island in your heart called paradise 